Hey down please, it's Dave Desai, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to get into Taeyang and this red velvet rumor that has circulated in the past and seems to be resurfacing again right now. I thought this was crazy and definitely one of those theories that got to mainstream media, which is very interesting because this doesn't actually happen that often, comparatively. We'll talk about it. I also want to get into a big hit addressing the topic of BTS needing to enlist very soon and what people have been reporting on about this. I think it's very interesting. Let's so grab your dumpling tea spilling mug merch and let's get into the tea. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified and some new video drops. And if you're a hater, like to be first to your hate comment, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also so you can be first to do so. Now let's jump into it. If you aren't aware, a little while back, there was a huge theory of our Tay Tay baby dating Joy from Red Velvet. Thankfully, I am not too mad at this one because the theories were speculated a little before I got into BTS and before Taeyeon became my husband. I am kidding. But this was back in December, a few years back. A Korean news site called Korean Daily released an article saying that Taeyeon was dating Joy. The two I do think know each other, but probably not intimately. I think we've only seen them maybe in the same room at award shows and they don't really talk from what I'm aware of. Also, I don't think I've ever seen them work together either. Every photo that I've seen of them are like edited photos. It's interesting because I don't think Korean Daily has the same type of credibility as let's say if Dispatch were to say it or whatever. And the evidence that they posted on the article on Taeyang allegedly dating makes no sense to me. The article was written in Korean and I actually went to try and find the article and it seems to be gone. And it says it's being reviewed by the administrator, which is interesting. But anywho, the article reads this about Taeyang. BTS and Red Velvet became close as they ran into each other, often during their international promotions and award shows. According to stories, V is close to EXO's Baekhyun, and he was the one who introduced Joy and V. Joy and V have been keeping their relationship going privately, messaging each other, a picture of the two sticking their lips out as if to kiss each other. Now this is the picture they are referring to. It makes it look like Joy is sitting on top of Taeyang. I do think they know of each other's existence, but I also think this photo might be edited. It just looks edited. Keep in mind, ARMY's edits are literally so good. They're literally better than some professional photographers and editors. They look really real and it's difficult to tell what's real or not, but there were a variety of pictures being circulated and released and the other ones definitely look like it's somewhat edited. So the idea of is this edited should have popped up in the writer's head. Now this is the real photo that it was edited from. This is the picture of Taeyang and J-Hope sitting on top of each other. BTS members that do this a lot, they're playful. It's great and funny. Now, if websites were claiming that Joy and Taeyang met while they were touring and all that, I do wonder where they got this information. People are obviously more likely to believe these news sites and think that they have insider information, maybe paparazzis or reporters that talk to the celebrities. But from the outside, I don't see that they would have met and started dating like that. It just doesn't make that much sense. I know at that point I said that I didn't know BTS yet, but Taeyang should have known he would have met me. How dare he have dating rumors and it's not about me? That's kind of I like cheating, I feel. But that's okay, I have other husbands. After this was reported, of course, the internet flooded with these rumors and theories, and even other news sites started to report on this article. So many fan sites were even asking about if this was real or not. Because other than these edited pictures, I don't think there's any other evidence out there. I definitely wanted to see what some people over on L tweets there had to say about this whole theory and stuff. One person wrote, more info, rumors about them came out in 2015, but no one believed them since there was no proof. They were actually really dating, but they've been breaking up and getting together again lately, especially in 2019, but now they're still dating. Now there are tweets like this online that have gotten like hundreds of likes and retweets, and this was posted in like the end of 2020. And so a lot of people believe they're together and say that there's all this evidence, but what is it? What is the evidence? I'm always so surprised at how information like this gets so much attention on the tweets there. Like people really retweet and like things without actual evidence. I wish people would try to look into things and not constantly jump the boat. Imagine someone just making up a horrible rumor about an idol and you're like, oh, I'm not going to research this because it sounds true. And also, I don't want to watch the idol's video, so I'm going to retweet this even if it's not true. Like this is why so many idols kill themselves. Every single day they do things that they're happy with, but when the hate gets too much and they're just trying to create art, they no longer want to do the thing that makes them happy because people keep attacking them for it. So they have no purpose in life anymore and yeah. And I want to say and clarify, I don't think rumors like this are something that Taeyang and Joy would take personally and be really insulted. They're both beautiful and nice people. If they actually got together, it would be great. But I'm saying in general, let's not be so quick to spread information without research. For the record, if it wasn't clear, I don't think Joy and Tan are dating. There's a lot of strange news lately that's happening and I gotta say, I'm fine with it because it gives me something to talk about. I love talking about my babies and what's going on. Big Hit or HYBE actually had to come out and address something recently. But before we get too deep into that, I wanna get into some context on what is going on. 
So if you're a baby army or just a baby K-pop stan, every male idol has to serve in the military. It is a great honor. I want to clarify, I know many of my videos when I talk about this, I make it seem like it's a chore and it's such a horrible thing. No, it's seen as a great honor and BTS has been open about them wanting to do it. BTS has gotten their delayment in the service. Normally you're supposed to serve at 28 by the latest. Jin got his service delayed until 30. Great, they can produce more music for longer. Now I haven't seen anyone attack me for this or anything like that, but for my own conscience, I want to clarify. I don't think enlisting in the military is this huge or dramatic thing. And I don't know if I made any videos that made it seem that way. And if I have, I am so sorry. It's not a bad thing and it's definitely not career ending. I don't know if I alluded to that. Oftentimes idols do end up doing different things after the service. There are rumors going around that Jin would go into acting after the service. So things can be different. However, maybe his mindset will be different too. And he'll realize, no, he doesn't want to act. He wants to do more music. So we won't know until after the service. Now, a lot of people are freaking out about Sugar getting his surgery and missing out. And it literally felt like yesterday that he announced he was going to rehab. And now he's back. When I say time will pass fast, I mean it. They'll be back before you know it. And it's definitely not a big deal. Big Hit probably has more than enough content to feed us with while the members are away. Recently, a lot of articles started posting about the predictions in the military service saying that BTS will enlist in 2022. I've mentioned this before. A lot of people were saying that Jin will enlist by the end of this year. And my theory was next year, not this year. But now a lot of articles were saying 2022 also. So I guess that kind of confirms my theory, but not really because Big Hit needs to formally address it themselves first. They did release a statement to exports news, but it didn't really say much. It said, we have nothing to tell you besides what the artists have shared. Has BTS shared anything? I'm not sure. I am liking the new statement system that Big Hit has adapted, like them not getting into artists' personal life and not always making statements on behalf of idols' personal things. This will start to normalize the fact that idols will have work, which is music and all that, and also them having a personal life and also drawing the lines on the ground on what should be public and not by saying it's a personal matter and the company will stay out of it. I love that a lot, but for this military thing, I think a lot of us definitely want some answers. I for sure want to know exactly what is happening and perhaps an exact date on when the members will be going. Maybe they don't wanna put that out there as things may change in a year, like maybe another BTS law might pass, who knows? Right now there's a concern of big hit stock when BTS enlists and all that. So I know they probably don't wanna think about it. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Kiss video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for leaving comments. And as always, I do have a Patreon if you want to go over there and check stuff out. I have a lot of videos over there that I can't really post on here. This is due to copyright or getting taken down. You can get videos over there like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions. You can also recommend things you'd like to see over there. Link is in the top of the description down below. I also have a video over there that kind of talks about Asian and media and my experience with that. Please make sure you check it out. It's on the front page and it's free to watch. It also talks a little bit about how you can contribute back to this channel. With that said, there's two videos that will appear up on screen at the end of this video. So click on one of those and I'll see you over there. Bye.